All right, we're going to have Diane introduce to us the families that will be occupying the houses. But one clarification, when we use the word give, we really use that in a, in a sense that isn't the way you think about it. It's more in the form of a presentation and an opportunity to occupy a house. These people, we do not give them title to these houses right away. We ask them to have some effort to make donations to our Mexican charity. We formed a charitable entity in the United States and one here. And so they donate every month, as should donate pesos every month, until they've paid roughly about 25 to 30 percent of the cost of the houses. That's about a good amount. That's somewhere between 60 to 70 dollars a month and for eight to ten year period and if they'll do that and do that faithfully then we give them the deed to the house because you all know that if we do that right now it's like giving your teenager a car right and we've all been through that we've all been the recipients of that we've all given that so we know what happened so that's how it works so now we're going to have diane introduce the families get all these families to ellos que están atrás que en este momento van a presentarles a ustedes a la gente que está aquí Okay, the first family we're going to introduce is Victor and Matilde, and there are two boys. So they'll be occupying the blue house over here in the corner. So we're going to introduce each family and then we'll go to the houses. So, donde esta la Donde esta Victor y Alma? Ay. <laughs> I'm 
Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So Alberto's a worker. Yeah. Hola, Alberto. Alberto works here within the development for the charity. Yeah. Cool. They asked if, if she works in the home or outside the home, and she said, no, I, I'm in the home taking care of the children. Cool. How will your house, uh, how will your life be better and of your family by living in an established home? <laughs> Pues esta es una gran oportunidad para vivir mejor, ¿verdad? Gracias a Dios y a todos ustedes que lo han hecho posible. Uh, this is a great chance to, to make the life better for our family and I want to thank God and I want to thank each of you for this opportunity. Muchísimas gracias. Alright, we have one more family. We have... Oh, Alberto, por favor, pase la puerta. So I'm asking him what he thinks about this project. He's been doing this for two years and working with our group. So the truth of <laughs> the, the truth of it is it's a blessing from God to be here together with you. Wow. He had a lot to say right there. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what he said first was he observes, he sees the manner in which you have all given your time and effort to be here. He is aware of the way in which you live differently than he does, and it gives him a chance to improve his life here with a house and a home that's established and not having to be moved from place to place. ¿Qué diferencias hay en su vida de no tener que ir a un lado o otro por otra casa? Cada vez cuando el dueño quiere encontrarle un lado. <risa> es, o sea, es algo que en mi manera de pensar y lo que a mí me, han, me ha inculcado, me inculcaron mis papás y me ha venido enseñando diariamente a Milcar a que las cosas se deben de hacer bien y ser responsable en lo que uno eh, dice one of the things that he recognizes is that his relative, Amilcar, who is really the head of our crew here, has taught him to live respectfully, to live in accordance with the laws, and to do things right, and his life has changed because of that. And so this is a good opportunity for this family to be here. So thank awesome. you. I would like to thank all of you, every one of you, to, to be such good people. Thanks to God and to you for the opportunity to have a house like this. He's going to do the best he can to keep it the way it is, but what he's saying is he comes from a very humble family, and honestly, they're not used to living in a home like this, and you'll see in a minute. And he's going to do the best he can to keep it that way. 
Te amo, amigo. No estoy acostumbrado a vivir en lujo. He's not accustomed to living this way. For two years, he's lived in a shack. Wow. Much like where we stored the tools. Wow. He hasn't lived in anything more than that for the last two years on this site. Te amo, amigo. He's going to do what he can to take good care of you. ¿Cuáles son algunos de sus sentimientos de estar aquí con esta oportunidad? So what are your feelings about this opportunity? I can't find the words. Apenas Dios sabe lo que tiene planeado para uno, uno nomás hay que portarse bien y Dios. God knows what's good for every person and if you, the word in Spanish is comportense bien, if you do the right things, for lack of a better word, things will work out. Yo lo que todo el tiempo tiene confianza, pues que Dios camina con con uno, dice, si Dios con nosotros, ¿quién contra nosotros? Y yo te he confiado que, pues hago la lucha de estar con él y confío mucho en él demasiado. Y pues él sabrá lo que nos tiene preparado, ¿no? Y hay que confiar en él y luchar y pedirle y, y echarle ganas para poder triunfar. He's always had confidence to walk forward and he had the faith that God would provide for him at some point, at some time in his life. Muchas gracias. First, as they always say in Spanish, most of those who have Christian background, the, the Spanish tradition is to say primero Dios. Everything is first God and then other things. And that's exactly her feeling for being here today. Wow. So thank you very much. Hola. Mary, who we have known for years, because her family, her mom and her brothers and sisters are in another one of our houses in another part of town. And her husband, Samuel, and Samuel's two kids, I remember their names, Maria, Carolina, Carolina, and Alexis, and then this is their daughter, and this is Mary's sister, who Chris is adopting, Maliana. Yeah. <laughs> In este momento, what house are they going to They're going to occupy the house over here in the corner. And let's invite Chris over here for a minute to share any thoughts or questions he might have at this moment for this family. Yep. <laughs> if you'll speak slowly so I can understand you, I'll translate for you. <laughs> I don't think I can do this. Uh, yes, you can. Um, you can do it. Well, this family's been a, a, a love of mine for a long time down here. And, uh, you know, we I met him years and years ago, and I met this little girl right here. Um... On, on a job site, our very first house, and uh, at, at that time, this little girl stole my heart. She gave me one of the most meaningful hugs of my life, and uh, I've loved her ever since. And uh, little by little, we've grown, and I've, I've known Mary, and Mary's just, she's my, my sister, or whatever, I don't know what to call her, just my sister, and Samuel. And they're just a very special family. They're they're a hardworking family, always willing to work. It works tough to find sometimes, but they're always willing to fight, always willing to work. And you guys, it's just uh, an opportunity to give somebody a chance, right? I've I, I used to be one of those people that uh, always was like this American pride kind of person, uh, and I still am. But I I realize that God has no boundaries. Yeah. We may have a boundary. But God has no boundaries. And for 
forever because of this organization and everyone here. Maliani and every one of these guys, our lives, my beautiful wife, for accepting my craziness. <laughs> I don't know if she accepts it all the time, but our lives have been forever, forever changed in a way that we can never change. And it's just a blessing. <laughs> and this little girl, she is the most excited person usually to see me, even more than Maliani now. She calls me T.O.T. And uh, this family's awesome and one of them, very well deserving. And I know we'll do a great, be great residents for this house and just do a great, just be a great afternoon. Just, just, they will really contribute in a big way to everything that's going on. So uh, I, I tell every one of you guys, I love you guys. And uh, I've always promised to give them some opportunities somehow or some way. And it's, I, I've been here almost every week for the last six months working on stuff. So we love you guys. And I'll pass the mic back. Don't be sick of this. I'm on board. Here's an interesting story about some people. What type of work do you do before you start to say, Chef, what are you doing? Tell me what you're doing, please. So I'm asking him to share with you what he did before he started becoming a chef. I was working in the camp. I was working in the camp. Pues, en un lado de la casa, un vecino hizo, hizo un taller, un lentar wash, media entera. Y después pues, se empezó con negocios, y el calor se calor cero, hasta que me tuve que venir para acá a peñar. Pues, y pues aquí me encontré a mi familia, para la dama. I don't think that needed any translation. It's somewhat like the hugs that were given yesterday at the food distribution, wasn't it? No one needed to talk. All we needed were hugs. Samuel's story is quite interesting. He was a professional baseball pitcher in the in the league that they have here and was injured and couldn't go back to pitching and couldn't go back to playing and struggled to find work. And now that he's training to be a chef, he's just grateful for this opportunity to be in this house and to have his life be different than it was uh, before he and uh, before he met his lovely wife and they started having their family. So you can feel the emotion. Muchísimas gracias. Y Mary, algo de decir? Thank you, everyone. All we need from her is that smile, right? <laughs> so thank you. I'm not in charge of this anymore. This microphone. You guys, hey, you notice how you had some of those tacos yesterday? Yes. So a month ago, I talked to them. Just so you know, any profit made, which it was good profit is going to be being donated to this family for working. I gave them an opportunity to teach them a business, and that was my idea, because you can give a fish or teach a man to fish. And a month ago we started this idea was, I'm going to teach him how to fish, and we have a bunch of gringos here, so we're going to fish well. <laughs> <laughs> so just so you know, those condos were excellent. We made everything in my condo, and uh, she did an excellent job, and that was a, a great job. And every single profit, just so you know, will be going to this family. Woo! Nice. Let's get a photo with the families. If the families can move in front of you guys, and Jason, where uh, maybe maybe you can.